Question one on practice exam one is a confidence interval question. And at the start of this, we see here from a couple of things in the pro problem, we've got x bar of 120 and then sigma, sigma of 20. When we're given sigma, we know that this is a standard normal distribution and we'll use a critical value of z. So the first question is what, um, part A, is what is the critical value if you want to determine a 98% confidence interval for this sample? And here in the table on the right, we see that that value, z, the critical value, is going to be 2.33. The next part says, what is the standard error? Standard error, as you see in this problem here, so critical value is z, standard error is sigma over square root of n, which is 20 over the square root of 50, which is 2.8284. So now we have the right side of the equation, everything after the, everything after the plus or minus, or the margin of error. And so now we can calculate that. So our point estimate or excuse me, our equation is point estimate plus or minus critical value times standard error. So we have 120 point estimate plus or minus critical value 2.33 times 2.8284, our standard error. So let's do that. The right side of the equation there is 2.33 times 2.8284, which is plus or minus 6.5. 902. Making some more room for us here then, we have our, our confidence interval estimate of the 126.5902. And on the lower limit we have 113.4092. So that is our confidence, confidence interval estimate with 120 right in the middle. And what this means is that with 98% confidence, we can say for a sample of this size, the true population mean is somewhere between 113.4098 and 126.5902.